I mentioned earlier uh, Roy Orbison as one of my, he's probably my biggest influence, certainly when it comes to vocals. And many years ago, I had a writing session with Ariel De Sildes. I don't know if any of you know her, but uh, the night before, a friend of mine had stood me up, and it wasn't the first time she'd done it. So I was kind of pretty mad and pretty hurt. And when uh, Ariel came over and, and we had this writing session, we decided to write a song kind of based on that. Now, Ariel said, you know this, uh, no, I said, you yeah, know, I think this would be a great Vince Gill song. And she said, oh man, that would have been a great Roy Orbison song. And she was right, but that ship had sailed. <laughs> I don't think Roy's gonna be doing any of my songs anytime soon. But there's a new Roy Orbison tribute band that got started a couple of years ago. Arnie plays keyboards with them. It's called, they're called Roy and the Orbits. And the lead singer, Mark Inlow, not only sounds like Roy, he looks like him. And they're doing this song. So that's as close as I'll get to having Roy do one of my songs. I like to call it an existential country song. It's called The Breaking of a Heart. Well, Out of sight, I'm out of mind. You don't. 